Hello, my name is Sakari Lehtinen. Let's continue on getting started with SimplePim by trimming. If you are not already watching inside the SimplePim, please get your free trial now from www.datacubist.com. Just like you have specific requirements for different kind of drawings, elevations, sections, details, you have specific requirements for different kind of PIM exchange files. For example, a BIM exchange targeted to quantity takeoff has very different data requirements than the exchange file targeted to energy analysis. Our target in this tutorial is indeed energy analysis. The first requirement for a BIM exchange file is that it must include only the objects and properties needed by the targeted task. You don't create any drawings with all the objects and properties in them either, do you? Okay, now let's start the actual editing. But first, let's go through some basic things. 3D navigation works like this. You can rotate the model with the right mouse button. There's a mouse wheel too. If you don't have mouse wheel, use right mouse button plus control key. Panning can be done with middle button or with right mouse button plus shift key. You can set the rotation point by pressing V and by left clicking on the place of your preference. Area selection is studied separately for each selection, like this. You can also start it by pressing shortcut A. That might be faster if you need to do it multiple times in the row. Use Ctrl to add to selection and shift to remove from the selection. Also at any time you can find a context menu behind right click. Note that most of the palettes, not just the 3D, have some options on the ribbon tab or at the info bar. You should start every edit by choosing the target for your data, sort of a drawing type. In Simple PIM you do it by choosing the PIM exchange template. The templates are very simple, plain old Excel files. You can edit and create them yourself if you like. But uh, for now let's click on Apply Template, browse to this training file and click Open. As you can see, the PIM exchange template did most of the selection work automatically for you. For energy analysis we only need walls, spaces, windows, doors and slabs sometimes curtain walls, but we don't need furniture, columns, railings, stairs, trees and such. Many times the extra objects will increase the file size more than 90% and any unnecessary data will cause unnecessary problems. Take my word for it. Now choose a quick select. It allows you to select objects based on different criteria. I start with object type. I hover over the walls, right click and choose hide. Now hover over the spaces, right click and isolate them. Finally I choose space name to find the unrelevant cross areas from the model. Hover over the cross areas and drag and drop them to the excluded bucket. I right click and show all the objects. You should drag and drop and keep the objects you don't want to exchange in the excluded packet and the objects you want to exchange in the included packet. When you're done with the objects, you are ready to trim the properties. Drag walls to the properties palette. As you can see, most of the properties, all the gray properties, are already automatically excluded from the model. Still, it's a good idea to check that the needed and only the needed properties are included. I think I will do one more trim. Select wall thickness from the list, right click and choose exclude selected. It's not used by the targeted application I have in mind. To practice trimming, check also properties for all the other included object types. When you're done, it's time to check the actual values. Click on the property editor button and continue by watching the tutorial over there. See you in the pit.